Welcome back to Capital Connection. The past couple of months have seen a surge in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether, and recent volatility has taken some money off the table for holders, but not before some traders made a lot. We mean a lot of money. But if you've missed the boat, what other trading strategies are out there that you can take advantage of? That's our topic in today's TriFactor segment, and I'm pleased to say we're joined now by Tim Anaking, who is Managing Director at Crypto Asset Management. He joins us live from San Diego, California. California. Good afternoon or good evening, I should say, Tim. Thank you for joining us here. And when we talk about cryptocurrencies, I think it's important for our viewers who may not be as digitally or tech savvy. You say, look, don't let the crypto thing get your head in a spin. It's really similar to traditional assets, and you break it down into three classes, fixed income, equity, and alts. So bearing that in mind, explain to our viewers how you can take advantage of this space. Well, there's a recommendation in either one. The fixed income portion is just lending. And generally in the crypto space, it's lending against people who want to leverage or people who want to short. And the structure is the exact same way as it is in the fiat world. Uh, and that's one of my uh, first rec our first recommendations. The second leg, if you will, of a standard portfolio is equities, which in this case really is standard cryptocurrencies. And our recommendation there is a cryptocurrency by the name of Game Credit. The third, slightly more aggressive leg of a, any three-legged standard investment stool, whether it be in fiat world or in the, in the crypto world, would be uh, ICOs or initial coin offerings, which have been much in the news lately. And for there, we recommend an ICO that will debut in a couple of weeks here that we are honestly looking at, I should disclose that, I suppose, called pre-search. And Tim, one complaint or reason we hear from investors that they don't invest in cryptocurrencies is the fear of volatility. Anyone who watches the price in Bitcoin knows it is a volatile trade. When you talk about your number one point, increasing leverage, does this simply exacerbate volatility? Certainly leverage exacerbates volatility, but the first recommendation we have that is of lending fiat or to some extent crypto into the market has no volatility at all. The rates are fixed, the investment is 100% secured, the uh, counterparty risk is eliminated because all of the assets are held on the exchange itself. So it's a remarkably good way to, if you will, play in the crypto space and avoiding the volatility issue altogether. And just finally on the ICOs, when you talk about the pre-search pre ICO, what makes this attractive? And I understand you're thinking about investing in this one. Yes, we are. What makes it attractive is it literally pays people to search. They have their search uh, coin broken into tokens and literally to lure people away from Google. And uh, I guess Google is the only one in that sector to lure people away from Google. Uh, searchers, people who need uh, particularly pre-search, that is, they need two layers of search in that. Let's say you're looking for the name of a specific uh, a bank or you're looking for any sort of other website where you have to repeat the search, pre-search eliminates that step. So challenging Google on that front, and it's raising money through an ICO, so it's challenging standard Silicon Valley investment on another front. So we like it because it uh, tweaks two major players or sectors in a very creative way with a product that existed prior to ICO. So it's a product that was not developed to take advantage of the ICO market, I, the ICO route is being used to bring a product that could challenge Google to the market, thereby also challenging Silicon Valley. All right, Tim, we'll have to bring you on another time for a longer segment. I'm afraid we're out of time, but we've got to go for now. Thank you so much for joining us. That's Tim Enneking from Crypto Asset Fund. And that wraps up this edition of Capital Connection. I'm Nancy Hungerford in Singapore. Squawk Box Europe is coming up next. Stay with CNBC.